10 students, all with some years rowing experience, took part in an investigation into the effect of four different warm-up periods on their performance over a subsequent two-kilometer time trial using rowing machines. The rowing machine for each student was calibrated using an initial trial to adjust the drag factor to compensate for differences between students. The results show the average power values in W watts recorded as a function of time for the two kilometer trial recorded in seconds. We will first derive a new variable pace P which will be the time taken to travel one meter. So in cell E3 we enter an equation for the time in D3 divided by the distance in meters which was 2000 which gives the average time in seconds to cover each meter and then we copy that equation down for all the records giving the pace for each particular student. The aim of this part of the analysis was to see how well the data fits a relationship between the power W and the pace P given by W is equal to a constant times P to the power B. In this we are assuming that this relationship is independent of the different warm-up periods and that in fact the different warm-up periods are simply replicate measurements. This theoretical equation is a power equation and so in order to fit the data to this we will take the logarithms of both sides of the equation so it becomes log w equals log a plus b times the logarithm of p the effect of taking the logarithms has brought the power b down onto the equation line and we can now aim to fit a best fit straight line using the logarithms of both w and p. In this analysis we're using natural logs but we could use logarithms to base 10. So to derive the values we start with the natural logarithm ln of the power which is in C3 and then the natural logarithm of the pace which is in E3 giving the two values for the first record we can just then copy both formula down to all records Plotting log w against log p, the data points certainly do appear to lie along a straight line. And we can calculate the best fit slope of this line using the slope function with the known y values, which are log w, comma, and then the known x values, giving us a slope of minus 3.008. Similarly, we can calculate the intercept with the known y values and the known x values. So referring to our equation, the value of b will be just equal to the slope in our best fit straight line. So the value of b is quite simply equal to the value of the slope. The intercept is the logarithm of a. So the value of A itself will then just be the exponential value of the intercept, 2.761. So the best fit values for our theoretical equation are that W equals A, which is 2.8, multiplied by P, the pace, to the power of minus 3.008. So this is very close to the published equation where the power is equal to 2.8 divided by, because of the minus sign, the cube of the pace.